Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux which is currently version 2023.4 on VirtualBox. Now this works either you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11. The first thing we have to do is head to our Chrome browser and then download VirtualBox by searching for VirtualBox and then click on the first link which heads to virtualbox.org Now click on the download button by the left and it should take you to the download page now we can see virtualbox for windows host mac os linux and other operating systems so we're going to click on windows host and it should download the latest version of virtualbox for windows after downloading virtualbox we also have to download virtualbox extension pack and you just have to scroll down and you should see virtualbox extension pack right here so just click on all supported platforms and it should download now after downloading VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack, we also have to download Kali Linux. So let's open a new tab and then head to Kali.org. Now click on the download button right here. Now there are two ways we can install Kali Linux. We can either install it using the installer image or we can install it using the pre-built virtual machine image. Now if you just want to get your Kali Linux machine up as fast as possible, then I would recommend you use the virtual machine image as everything has been pre-built. But if you want to install it from scratch by yourself and set everything the way you want, then I would recommend you use the installer image. In this video, I'm going to cover both process so you can choose whichever you prefer. So first, we're going to start with the pre-built virtual machines. So let's click on the virtual machines and it should take you down here. Now we're going to select VirtualBox since we are installing on VirtualBox and it should start downloading. Now we can begin the installation. So let's close our browser and then open our download folder. So here we go. This is VirtualBox. This is VirtualBox extension pack. And this is Kali Linux pre-built virtual image for VirtualBox. So first let's install VirtualBox. Next. Next. Yes. Yes. Install. Okay. So we are done with installing VirtualBox. So let's just untick this and then finish. Now after installing VirtualBox, we can head back to our download folder. And now we have to also install the extension pack. So let's double click on VirtualBox extension pack right here. And it should load up in VirtualBox. Okay, and you can see a prompt to install VirtualBox extension pack. Now let's click on install. Scroll down and agree to the terms and it should install VirtualBox extension pack. Now to confirm if that was successfully installed, just click on the two icon by the side and then go to extensions and you should find the extension pack right there. Now we can head back to welcome page. Now let's head back to our download folder. Now we have to extract Kali Linux VirtualBox. So let's right click and then we have to extract it. Now you can open the extracted folder right here and you would find two files. This is the disk image file and this is the file we are going to use to add it to VirtualBox. So just double click on the VirtualBox machine definition file which is about 3 kilobytes, and it should add it to VirtualBox automatically. So you can see Kali Linux 2023.4 has been added to VirtualBox. Now we can go to settings and then go to system. Now the base memory right here is your RAM which you can increase to whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to increase it to about 6 GB. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. In my case, I have 16 gigs of RAM and I'm giving it about 6 gig, which should be less than 40%. Same with the processor, I'm going to give it 3 cores since I can run up to 8. Next, we go to display and then enable 3D acceleration and then click on OK. Now we can click on start to start our virtual machine. And we are up. The default username is Kali and 
the password is Kali as well. You can change that later on. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on VirtualBox using the pre-built virtual image. Now we're also going to install Kali Linux using the ISO file so we can set things like the disk size, our host name and every other thing. But with this, you can start using Kali Linux, make changes and do whatever you want to do. So let's shut down. Now let's head back to our download folder. And this time, instead of selecting virtual machines, we're going to select the installer image since we want to install it manually by ourselves and set the configuration to what we want. So let's click on installer images and it should take us down here. And then we click on Kali Linux installer 64 bit right here and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. So make sure you download and then we can close our browser and then head back to our download folder. Now we no longer need three of these since we've already installed them. So I'm just going to move it to another folder. So this is the ISO file which we need. So we are going to open VirtualBox and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new. Now let's call this Kali Linux 2023.4 and then set the type to Linux, set the version to Linux 2.6-3x, 4x, 5x, 64 bits. Next. Now the base memory right here is our RAM which we are going to allocate to this virtual machine. Now don't give anything more than 40% else it will slow down your host computer. Same thing with the processor as well. Next. Now this is the virtual hard disk which we are going to be using for Kali Linux. So I'm going to give it about 52 gigabytes. You can allocate as much as you want. Next. And then finish. Now we have to make few changes to our machine right here. So let's go to settings. And then go to system. Now your base memory is your RAM which you can change whenever you want. Same with the processor. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration. And then we go to storage. And then under controller IDE you will see an empty disk. So click on the disk. And then by the right click on the disk icon. And then click on choose a disk file. Now locate your download folder and select Kali Linux version 2023.4 installer ISO file which we downloaded. Open. OK. Now we can click on start to begin the installation. We are going with graphical install so hit enter. Now select the language for the installation and then continue. Set your country and region, continue. Set your keyboard as well, continue. Now set your host name if you have any available and then continue. Domain name as well, continue. And then the full name for this user, continue. Username which we are going to use to log in, continue. A password, continue. Now set your time zone and then continue. Now we're going to go with guided use entire disk. So this is going to run the disk partitioning by itself. So let's continue. Your drive should show here and then continue. All files in one partition, continue. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk, continue. Select yes to agree to write changes to the disk, continue. Now this isn't going to affect your main drive. This is only being applied to the drive we used for Kali Linux virtual machine when we were creating the virtual machine on VirtualBox. So this isn't affecting any file in your system. So we just have to wait for it to install the base system and then we can select our desktop environment and then the installation should complete. Okay, now we have to select our desktop environment. By default, it is set to XFace, but you can change it to GNOME or KDE Plasma. But I'm just going to continue with XFace. So let's continue. 
Now select yes to install grub bootloader to our primary drive and then continue and then select our drive shown here continue and we are done with the installation now let's close this power of the machine now we go to settings storage and you can see the image file has been removed successfully installed now we can log in with our username and password so basically this is how to install the latest version of kali linux which is currently version 2023.4 on virtualbox using the pre-built virtual image and iso file as well if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one